the Thank European you. adventure continues. You must be a very satisfied manager right now. Yeah, very satisfied, very happy. I think the performance was, was outstanding in, in um, a lot of areas tonight. Obviously, conceded a couple of goals, which as a manager, you've still got to uh, take on board and try and um, analyse once the game's done. But I think some of our play tonight was outstanding to get five goals in the way we've done it. The first three were, were top high-level goals, um, especially Ryan Kent's one in terms of a team goal. <laughs> And um, over the course of the two legs, we've looked dangerous throughout, and we thoroughly deserve to score nine goals, if not more. Um, but you know, as someone who wants to be a perfectionist, we still have to look at the, the few areas where we went wrong tonight. How much confidence did the players take from the fact that they made a good Antwerp side look very average in spells over the two legs in this one? To be honest with you, it's what we gave them in terms of the information. We told them that um, at our best, we knew we could cause them problems. We watched a lot of games on them, um, and we knew that. If we, if we came to the party tonight, our front three, we knew that we caused them many problems and I thought we were unplayable. Uh, we had a lot of variety. Um, we hit them in different ways and I think that was probably Alfredo's best performance tonight of the season and as a group of, of a front three, it's probably our, our strongest as well. Um, they were unplayable at times. Um, so I'm, I'm delighted, I'm really proud uh, to match last season's efforts. is, is really good from the boys. Um, and we'll see what the draw brings us now, but we, we want to enjoy it, we want to compete, and we'll see who we get. You touched on Morelos there, like you say, he was outstanding again, he scored, he had an assist, he won a penalty, and he was playing with a, a smile, he looks like he's really enjoying his football at the moment. He likes this competition, um, <laughs> and I know why he likes this competition. Listen, uh, when he's at his best, he's strong, he can hold the ball up, he's clever, he's cute. Um, he's physical and, and that physicality is a big strength of his because defenders find it really tough, especially ones that are not physically blessed themselves and you looked at their back line tonight and it was there for the taking and I think, but he's still got to go out and put that performance in and it was just a performance of all round quality. Yeah, I wouldn't have liked to mark him tonight, that's for sure. Are you alluding to the, the people who watch this tournament perhaps? Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, it was quite a night for Nathan Patterson as well. Quite a week. Mm. Um, it uh, should be the biggest learning curve of, of that boy's career. Uh, he's a fantastic kid, comes from a lovely family, and um, he needs to understand what the people from top to bottom of this club think of Nathan mm -hmm. and the opportunity um, that he's got. And um, he needs to learn from this and uh, make sure it doesn't happen again because you see tonight he's a wonderful footballer with a big future. Um, but someone who's got four kids myself, uh, I want to be someone who gives people a second chance um, you know as a human being myself I've made similar mistakes myself so um, you know I hope that he's took on board what we've said to him this week and he learns from it and he's going to have to take probably a little bit more punishment that comes his way that goes for the three of them um, but it's been a whirlwind week for him and hopefully that helps him in terms of his development. Was his introduction tactical or was it an injury to Balogun? There's a bit of a, a niggle in there with Leon's quad muscle, uh, which we'll check out. We, we don't think it's too bad, but I think we've done the safe thing. Um, Leon's playing in a different position. It's a different type of running, getting up and down, compared to when you're playing in the middle as a centre-back. Um, so, a bit of precaution and um, obviously listening to the player. Rather than it go worse and then we miss him for, for weeks and weeks, hopefully it's just days. I know it's what happens on the pitch that's important to you, but you've now surpassed Walter Smith's European record for wins with this club. Uh, what, what does it say about the players and how proud are you of the steps taken on the pitch in Europe since you came in? Extremely pr proud. You know, when, when I came in, there was still a lot of noise about this team not qualifying at the first hurdle at this, uh, at this competition. So it was important we improved on that. Uh, I think the board made it abundantly clear that for this for this club to be successful and compete, it needs to qualify and be good in Europe. So, obviously, taking that on board, but it's the boys that they deserve all the credit for that. And, um, you know, I shouldn't be named in the same conversation as Walter Smith, especially not standing here just now. Thank you for your time and well Thanks done very much. Tonight. All the best. Thank Thanks, you.